asking you or speaking you something on Tibbi Nabavi. As one of our brother requested uh, to speak on cancer and Tibbi Nabavi. So, my dear friends, I would like to tell you that no direct references of cancers are available in Tibbi Nabavi or available in Ahadis. Uh, maybe the disease was descended later, maybe. Nobody can say for sure. Uh, as there is no any episode or no any hadith in which uh, we can assume that this can be cancer or cancer like thing. So basically, according to modern science, cancer is a multiplication of cell, which is unwanted. I'll explain you later. First of all, you need to understand some basic things before if, before to understand cancers. We human are made up of cells, right? We are multicellular. We have got millions and millions of cells. And there are various types of cells, like liver has got got hexagonal shaped cells, uh, which are in lobules form. Basically, uh, stomach, esophagus, lungs, heart, kidney, muscles, skin, nerve cells, etc., etc. All cells are little bit different from each other, but the DNA and RNA remains the same of one human. The DNA and RNA are the parts of the cell in which body's whole information is there how to how to multiply what next is going to happen and how the cell has to behave or how the cell has to modify itself it is there each and every cell has got its own lifespan for example uh, on an average a skin cell they only live for 21 days so as the 21 day days complete a new cell a daughter cell a new cell takes place or is formed and the old cell is dead it is removed from the body in the stomach also in the muscles also and uh, uh, in uh, liver organ each and every part of the body has got its own uh, span of life of cells some some of the cells may last for 40 days, 60 days, etc., etc. And each and every human has got its own lifespan of cells. This is just for an average, I told you, 21 days, but it is not fixed for each and every one. Some may have, some human may have it in 15 days, some may have it in one month also, and some may have it more than that also, some may have uh, as short as seven days. So basically, new cells do develop and the old cells get dead off. Auto, uh, autopsosis means uh, new cells by itself, the body kills it, makes it die. The old cells and the new cells form, takes place, right? So apoptosis it is called, apoptosis in medical science, right? Now basically what happens, the body, the whole body does it in various forms for example in in younger age or in a growing child the multiplication or the formation of cell is much more than what they lose the cell means uh, the body do not do not lose more cells but develop more cells because the child is growing that's why we grow right but during uh, teenage where when we stop growing at that time, what happens? We lose 21 cells, suppose, and 21 cells new are formed. We lose 40 cells, new 40 cells are formed. And as the age grows and grows, and we get into the middle age, at that time also, uh, multiplication of cells are lesser than what cells die. Suppose, for example, if we lose 100 cells, so we might be only developing 80 cells or 90 cells. In old age, the uh, multiplication or the formation of new cells reduces and the 
dying auto, auto, apoptosis the dying the self auto dying of cells is more suppose for an example for an example if we lose 500 cells a day so the body can only develop 150 or 200 for example it is for example nothing is fixed only allah know allah knows and allah has made all these fixed to each and every human right? that's why allah taala says in quran fabiyale rabbikum atakaziban ke we cannot really deny or uh, how can you deny the bones of your uh, bones of allah subhanahu wa taala when he knows everything about us what we know we do not know we do not know okay, how many cells do we have and we really do not know which cell is going to die and that cell has to be replaced we do not really we do not need to put any efforts in that this is all by the program of allah subhanahu wa taala he takes care of each and every thing and each he has fixed each and everything for each and every human and uh, because, because of his will and uh, things happen so uh, as i told you in old age we might be losing 500 for example 500 cells in a day so we can only develop uh, one third of cells means 150 200 less than 200. so all we lose 300 cells daily suppose for example so this turn us to old age this turns us uh, this turns us to get the body weakened down and slowly slowly we turn into old age and we look old and we really do get old and uh, all sort of oldness weak weakness fatigue etc sign and symptoms of oldness and geriatric do come so basically this uh, phenomena of uh, losing cell and multiplication and new formation of cells uh, is our body's uh, behavior which allah Ta'ala has fixed it but in cancer, what happens? See, first of all, first of all, before uh, understanding cancer, you need to understand what is tumors. Now, basically, suppose now, basically, suppose any part of the body, any part of the body, are losing, uh, are losing uh, 15 cells, suppose a day, 15 cells of a day. And uh, as of, as the phenomenon of the body, 15 new cells has to be developed but that part of the body that part of the body suppose prostate prostate gland for an example now prostate gland uh, loses some 100 cells a day suppose so as the rule of the body is that 100 new cells are to be formed not 101 not 102 not 110 100 if prostate loses 100 cells so 100 cells has to be replaced but in some conditions and due to some disease condition uh, the prostate gland starts making 150 cells or 120 cells so prostate gland is losing 100 cells and developing 120 cells daily so daily 20 cells are adding to its structure and this makes it makes it and makes it to get enlarged same runs in liver same runs in kidney same runs in each and every part of the body right so this excessive cells right this excessive multiplication of cell which is not wanted for the body is tumor because if the cells if the excessive cells are according if the cells are according to the body cells means that the new formation of cells are similar to the prostate cells i hope you remember i hope you understand i'll make it more easy uh next example i would like to give you is liver right if liver is losing uh, 100 cells a day so as as a law 100 new cells has to be replaced has to be developed and replaced right and this will go on but the body doesn't need 105 110 cells it's need it it needs 100 cells to be replaced as 100 cells are dying a day for an example so uh, in a condition when the body makes when the body makes the liver cells 150 125 so this 25 or i just like i would just like to remind you that liver is losing 100 cells a day and now the liver is producing 125 cells same liver cells it is replacing right it is replacing so this 25 cells is excessive cells 
more cells which is not needed by the body and day by day day by day a lump or a structure will develop or uh, the the organ will enlarge so a structure around the excessive multiplication of cell which where the at the area where the cells are produced more gets lump gets bulge out and gets enlarged and this is called tumors so remember tumor is a multiplication of cells which is excessive not needed by the body not needed by the body are tumors but why they are tumors why they are called tumors because there is excessive multiplication but the cells are according to the mother cells only right as the mother cell die the new daughter cell comes it is according to the mother only structure wise and function wise all the information of a mother cell is transferred into daughter cell and then when it takes place and it turns into mother cell and again when its time is over it dies and when it dies it uh, it is replicated with a new daughter cell and all the information is transported or transferred into the daughter cell coming daughter cell now coming to the topic of cancer now cancer is also a excessive multiplication of body cells suppose for an example for an example as i will take the old example that liver cell we are losing 100 liver cells a day and producing 100 uh, daughter cells so that is a normal phenomena if we produce 125 uh, daughter cells and we lose 100 mother cells then this excessive 25 cells daily are going to grow a lump like uh, a tumor like structure and this is called tumor now uh there are one more thing i i like to tell you that in tumors in tumor just try to understand in tumors uh the multiplication or the replacement of the cell is according to mother cell but in cancer but in cancer what happens that the formation of cells is not according to uh the mother cell now what happens you know uh basically there are lot of things happen in cancer at one side at one side uh, uh, liver at one side liver is losing 100 cells and producing 100 cells so this is normal normal phenomenon but some area of of the liver will automatically start producing cells more cells there and as there will be excessive numbers of cell which is unwanted by the body which is exactly not wanted by the body and uh, which are not according to the mother cell they are a new type of cell and these new type of cells are cancers now uh, the variations between mother cell and new form new form daughter cell is that they may be uh, 20% different from the uh, mother cell so th this is grade 1 cancer for example if they are 40% or so this is grade 2 if they are 60% different from their mother cells so this is grade 3 and if they are only they are 90% different from the mother cell then this is grade 4 and 100% if they are not if they are absolutely not uh, according to the mother cell they are something different cells which which the body doesn't have is grade 5 cancer so again i i would like to remind you that in cancer there is a new formation of cells which is unwanted by the body and which is not according to the anatomy of that organ now suppose in liver if a certain part of liver start producing cells by itself which is not wanted and which is not exactly by its mother cell if it is like mother cell then it is tumor and if it is not like exactly not like the mother cell then it is cancer now uh, cancer can have various forms and various grades if the new formation of cell is according to the body cell 80% it is according to body cell and 20% it is not according to body it is something new something different from the body then it is grade one and as the grade increases for example if it is uh, 30 to 40% different from the uh, body cell then it is grade two if it is 50 50 suppose 50 50 or uh, it is uh 60 40 
60% it is not by the not according to the body uh, uh, cell and only it is it it resembles 40% to the body cell then it may be grade 3 and uh, grade 4 and then grade 5 in grade 5 it is absolutely not according to the body cell it's it's a really a new type of cell and these new type of cell have has its own information its own function its own modification right they these cells they take a lot of nutrition they take a lot of protein they take a they they have got their own behavior <coughs> which <coughs> is <coughs> not according to the bo whole body cell and it is not according to the body's behavior so these new cell formation of cell they start they keep on multiplying and uh, the killing of cell is very less in that and the formation of new cell is very 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 fast uh, it, it may be different from it may it may be different from organ to organ from person to person it may be as fast at, as it can grow in 3 months it can grow a big lump like this a big, big cancerous cell if it is liver if it is kidney if it is etc etc now cancer can be cancerous cell can be found in any organ of the body that's why we can say cancer is not an infective disease it's not uh, it's not a bacterial disease that you need antibiotics and you need no it's a it's a multiplication of cells which is not according to the body and which is not wanted by the body and these cells have harming effect these cells harm the surrounding part of the body and they do they they do harm the whole body by its behavior they, they need a lot of nutrition they take a lot of protein and their multiplication is very fast now why this occur the question comes why cancer cell occur why any part of the body produces start producing extra cells and which is not according to the body which are called cancer cell so basically mm, nobody knows for exactly means uh, cancer has been very poorly understood by modern science or any science there is there is much more left to be learned and understand about cancer so basically uh, the main cause or what makes a body part to produce a stranger like cells uh, that also in a unwanted quantity day by day and which are not according to body's behavior nobody knows why these cells uh, why this part of the body starts producing cancer cell nobody knows and basically it has been found that tobacco chewing narcotics alcohol etc these are the main forms which victimize these things victimize a person to produce cancer cells but in uh, many cases it has been found that a person that a person has never smoked never smoked a cigarette in his lifespan in his life he has never eaten any piece of tobacco in his whole life and he may suffer from lung cancer he may suffer from mouth cancer he may suffer from uh, throat cancer or any type of cancer so cancer can be genetic uh, any genetic effect, effect any genetic defect can produce cancer cell genetic means you know uh, you have the defect in your genes and hereditary means your mother and father are having defect in their genes and uh, that defect is also found in our body this is genetic right so so it may be genetic it may have it may be heredity uh, genetic means again i'll tell you i'll just explain you in simple genetic means when your when our cells were formed when we were formed when a ovum and a sperm they met together uh, basically it's a miracle of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are produced each and every cell have got 46 chromosomes in our body in each cells and uh, 23 chromosomes are taken from mother side means from ovum and 23 chromosomes are taken from uh, the sperm and these 23 and 23 make the sum of 46 and each and every cell has got 46 chromosome so basically we if any uh, problem while formation of cell occurs this is genetic that is the some problem you know this is also by the will of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala otherwise there are millions of millions of uh, children's taking birth 
a, uh, in a day and all ha all do have the perfect genes formation and perfect multiplication of genes and the whole body is formed by the by the grace of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he as he has fixed it uh, some may get a genetic problem but again i'll tell you this genetic problem is only by the allah, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's will he only knows why he uh, give genetic genetic uh, diseases uh shaitan may do have shaitan may do have some part in that that's why we are uh we, we are learned to decide bismillah rahman rahim or bismillah before going near to the wife to our wife for uh, relationship for intercourse and during intercourse also there is dua allahumma jamil shaitana jamil shaitana wasani so we really uh ask allah to give us pana from shaitan so sh the shaitan may have got some part or mischief in genetics it may we do, we really don't know we cannot really say it's a assumption we do think like that but we cannot say it for sure as it is not clearly mentioned in the hadith in any words so as you you must have understood genetic now acquired now basically acquired is what the another form of another cause of cancer is as i told you the first is hereditary second is genetic third is acquired now acquired means you know if a person is exposed or taking a lot of alcohol lot of tobacco or he must have undergone some some sort of surgery which was which was very dangerous and harsh surgery or some trans organ transplant or any any disastrous injuries etc this may also lead to cancer it may lead to the body to form cancer cell so this is basically acquired uh, type of cancer cell so we can acquire also at any time at any time at any age of a human who, who was previously good enough and healthy enough can start producing cancer cell at any part of the body whether it can be eyes eyeball whether it can be brain whether it can be mouth tongue throat esophagus stomach liver pancreas spleen intestine uh, colon large intestine etc etc muscles fats skin etc etc uh, <clears throat> as there are various forms of cancers basically if it is bone cancer if the bone cells are multiplying too much which is osteo so bones are called osteo so osteocarcinoma osteo this osteosarcoma like that so as per the body involvement of bodies body part the name is given sarcoma lymphosarcoma etc etc carcinoma etc etc melanoma etc etc so uh, uh, as i told you that uh, no direct reference of cancer is available or up till now we couldn't find any hadith in which cancer any sahabi or any person was suffering from this type of multiple consumption of cell and he must he might have come to uh, nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam and nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam must have given guide it really didn't we couldn't really find it up till now allah knows better but our big scholars our big scholars and muftis and alims and muhaddis etc they do believe and say that cancer has got cancer may be maybe huh? remember the word the keyword is maybe we are not sure maybe do the mischief of jinnat they do say that jinnat plays a mischief he really pricks something in that part of the body and that body starts developing cancer it may be it may be it may be uh, the mischief of uh, jinnat as allah guides us to uh, ask to seek pana from uh, jinnat's mischief by allah subhanahu wa taala we should pray to allah subhanahu wa taala that give safeguard us from jinnat's mischief and from jinnat's evil uh, in kulola in kulauzavinas in the jinnatavannas that is that only and uh, it may be and uh, basically what happens as the modern science they really do not know what is the cause of cancer cell that's why they really cannot control now the treatment what modern science gives is that 
they try to stop the multiplication of that cells so to stop the multiplication or to reduce the number of cells they start killing it by radiation uh, you know what is radiation uh, extra uh, light a light like thing is given by a machine radiations are given uh, to reduce to reduce the multiplication of cells and to kill that cells or to control the multiplication of cells or to control the speed of multiplication of that that cancer is said so radiations also do not work for each and every patient it may work for one or two months and then again the uh, cancer reoccurs it may reoccur at another part it may transfer transform into another part that is called metastasis when 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 the cancer spreads from the primary side from the primary side from the first side to the second side then that is uh, secondary cancer or metastasis we can say suppose if we if any unfortunately if anybody is suffering from liver cancer and the liver cancer start from the liver this is primary site of cancer and then it spreads to uh, spleen or lungs so lungs having cancer in the lungs will be secondary so we will say uh, this lung cancer is secondary to liver cancer that means uh, the body was suffering from cancer first in the liver and then from the liver it has spread to lungs so basically it spreads also from one region to another region this is called metastasis also or primary secondary cancer so modern science they really do not know how this occurs they and what's really what medicines or what are the things to stop or to control the multiplication of cells they do have a therapy called radiations and chemotherapy chemotherapy is you know killing of uh, the fast multiplication of cells they have produced a medicine which cancer cells really accept it they try to eat it and as they eat it more then the body cell they start get destroying they get dead and they get killed and by this the multiplication or the speed of multiplication is controlled uh, amongst this uh, our target therapy also uh, basically what happens before i explain target therapy this chemotherapy uh basically it contains uh it contains a medicine to which new cells new formation of cells of the body need so it is taken up by the cancer cells and also it is taken up by the new normal forming cells of the body and both get killed the new cells the new body cells which are forming normally are also killed to some extent and uh, cancer cells also do get killed because they eat and they they, they get destroyed uh, means the medicine gets entered into the, into that cancer cell and they destroy so the side effect of these uh, chemotherapy is that it kills the normal cells of the body also and to which the person start losing it its hair you must have seen the person who uh, underwent chemotherapy loses its whole hair and loses its facial hair and uh, skin hair and then lose it the loses the skin gets loosened up and he or that or that patient gets weakened down slimmed down because the normal cells of the body are also killed and mainly the fast multiplying cells the fast multiplying cells are hair cells skin cells etc they get the normal cells they get also killed and due to that our skin gets weakened down and hair uh, hair are completely lost or partially lost etc now one more therapy is target therapy I'm taking lecture. Lecture में होगा। From where is calling? क्या काम है बोलो? बोलो lecture में हो। एक घंटे के बाद। Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. So basically, sorry. Sorry for interruption. It was a urgent call from a patient. Patients do call any time because when they are in desperate need, so they need they need to speak to a doctor or their doctor. Uh, I am very much sorry for that. Uh, so just to start, just to start. So basically, there is one more therapy that is target therapy. These target therapy are also called as monoclonal antibodies. Monoclonal cells are the cells which 
uh, multiply very speedily as cancer is said. So these target therapy only work on the fast multiplying cell means cancerous cell and they start killing the cells and they very less they very less kill the normal cells of the body so side effects are very less but this by strength uh, monoclonal body or the target therapy is not as as strong to kill a uh, dangerous uh, cancer it may kill the cancer cells in initial stages say about grade 1 and grade 2 but if the uh, cancer get it gets in advanced stage so um, it really do not work so basically there is not uh, a very promising therapy or promising treatment in modern science which can really give a good result in cancer they do undergo surgeries they try to remove the cell manually uh, by cancer they open the body's part they expose they see and they cut that cancer cell but also uh, this may work for very few patients luckily by the will of Allah and their failures are of great numbers and uh, again the reoccurrence of uh, the cells are very a big problem and as I speak on stages of cancer so as I told you grade 1 so initially a person might suffer from grade 1 cancer and the grade 1 may get into grade 2 at any time it may take one year it may take one month only or it may take two months and from grade 2 it may turn into grade 3 from grade 3 to grade 4 grade 5 or a person can directly jump from grade 1 to directly grade 4 or directly grade 5 so the behavior of cancer is different from human to human from each and every person the behavior of the cancer is different that's why the doc, 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 the, the cancer specialist the oncologist is really not knowing what next is going to happen with its patient or what will be the next uh, attack or the behavior of that cancer the doctor doesn't knows because sometimes uh, a person from grade one gets into grade two but a person might get it get from grade one directly into grade five a person may get a very good result from uh, chemotherapy and radiations and uh, he may get 100 percent okay then after six months four months again the cancer cancer can relapse and this relapse may be four to five times more stronger than what it was previously so these are the uh, strange behaviors of cancer nobody knows nobody knows and uh, uh, what will be the behavior of the cancer that's why the failures are there the, the modern science needs to research more and more uh, about cancers though the research is very less very less and very poor and we are not so they are not able to give promising results for that so brothers and sisters or the friends this is the pathophys pathophysiology of cancer in normal language in non-medical language right so basically uh, in 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 light of practice of tibbi nabavi it has been found in many patients who have undergone uh, rukyat for cancers there are so many patients in the world they were diagnosed they were diagnosed as cancer or dangerous type of cancer and the doctor and they, their doctor asks them to take rest and there is no uh, proper med, uh, treatment in allopathic and uh, you can go for other therapies so after searching here and there they found rukia and they did rukia rukia means a uh, chronic treatment treatment with Quranic verses and they really do got healed and some of the patient got healed in that way okay, it was 100% clearance of cancer cell not a single cell was found and later on when uh, diagnosis were done then they were found as cancer free or no cancer and even it was found that okay, there was no sign of previous cancer means the doctor says okay, your organ is so clean it looks like you never suffered from cancer there are patients who really got cured from rukia and again i would like to remind you that rukia is treating yourself with quranic verses or the verses or the duas which are mentioned by nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam as I, I have spoken much about rukia that manzil that manzil a collection of quranic verses called as manzil also the best rukia the shortest rukia it may take five to six minutes a day uh, and one more thing I like to remind you that 
लिसनिंग ऑफ रुकिया और और रिसाइटिंग ऑफ रुकिया सो ऑलवेज रिसाइटिंग ऑफ रुकिया बाय इटसेल्फ इज मेन इफ यू कैन नॉट इफ यू आर वीक इनफ देन अदर पर्सन और योर फ्रेंड और योर वाइफ और योर सिस्टर और योर पेरेंट्स और योर एनीबॉडी कैन डू रुकिया फॉर यू और फॉर द पेशेंट इट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग एंड एट एंड एट लीस्ट एट लीस्ट इफ अ पर्सन इज नॉट हैविंग एनी रिलेटिव्स हु कैन do this rukya for himself so he can uh, hear the recordings of quran uh, quranic verses like surah rahman surah yasin or the whole quran in few days from alif lam mim to close of nas amil al jinnat wan nas like that so from the start of quran to till the end of quran in many days maybe take 40 days may take one month or may take 15 days you can do that also it really depends on your convenience but there is no such obligations Okay, you should listen the whole Quran, or you should recite two, uh, three hours rukia, two hours if you can. No, even you do, even you recite Surah Fatiha with the intention of healing your spiritual disease or your or disease like cancer or any other disease or evil eye or black magic. This comes under rukia, and again, Surah Fatiha is also a self strong uh, rukia. and people do get uh, total heal by only surah fatiha so if you are not able to recite the whole quran or you not able to recite long long verses so you can recite surah fatiha for 11 times for 41 times the time also the number of repetition are also not an obligation you can do it once at once at one time you can recite three times you can recite 11 times 41 times 101 times 1000 times it is as per your convenience or as you want to speed up your uh healing or as per your time as per your strength you have you can choose the number by yourself 11 21 but just it is request to do it in even uh, in odd numbers 1 3 5 7 11 21 21 like this try to make it in odd numbers because allah is one and allah likes odd allah is one and one is odd and allah likes odd numbers so make it 3 7 9 11 etc etc now one of the uh, simplest or easiest way of diagnosing is pet scan like there are various pet scan uh, available in uh, in the hospitals in modern science these pet scan they really you know they use a dye like thing which is up taken which is accepted or which is eaten up by the cancer cell when that dye is injected in the body of a person who is not having cancer cell that our body cells will take that dye in a very least quantity and uh, the whole the 90% of that uh, dye will be excreted in the urine like that only means the body will not use it because it is not really uh, needed by the body that die which is given during pet scan but if a person is suffering from cancer cell so these cancer cell have got a affinity to accept that die and that die is taken up by the cancer cell and as the cancer cell are take up uh, the machine picks up that image picks up the image of that die and then it is assumed that this a particular part a particular part of cancer is uptaking of that dye more than normal and so these are cancer cells means it's a behavior of cancer cell okay they accept these dyes these dyes has been uh, this dye is introduced or injected in the body and if it is not cancerous if we are not cancerous so the not the body will body cells will accept it very less or will not accept it and it will be a scrubbing of the body so much the machine will not able to pick up the images because uh, there was non acceptance of that cell but if any part of the body is having cancer cell so the uptake of that can uh, that die by the cancer cell uh, a image or a picture is formed there and the machine pet scan machine it picks up the image and uh, uh, images the transferred into the films and we can find out ke right lobe of the liver or left lobe of the liver is suffering from cancer or upper lobe of 
right lungs or left left lung is suffering from cancer or the tail part of pancreas is suffering from cancer etc etc so by this we come to know the that which part of the uh, body is suffering from cancer or which part of the body may are at the high risk of getting cancer we also know that and uh, of course there are sonography and usg and etc etc many many other uh, diagnostic diagnostic tools to found cancers cancers now the sign and symptoms of cancer is what k the patient will be having a mild fever which will be always there for 24 hours means that the body will be always warm warm than normal right it will be a light fever a hay fever you can say and day by day that uh, body that person may be feeling weak fatigue and may get slim may get thinner because as i told you the cancerous cell has got a be strange behavior of taking the most nutrition suppose whatever the person eats 80% of the nutrition or 70% of the nutrition is taken up by the cancerous cell as per the number of cells present num number of cancerous cell present and the body has to survive in the remaining 20 or 30% nutrition and due to that the body normal body cells are starving for nutrition and they start getting die and they die by uh, by starving of nutrition and by this the person gets slim and if suppose cancer is cancer is in uh, is in intestine so there may be bleeding in the stool because one behavior of cancer is the cancer cell is that there is increase uh, in blood supply they take a lot of blood supply uh, and you know they are very easy to bleed even if you touch the cancer cell suppose if anybody is suffering from mouth cancer and if even touch the cancer cell it starts bleeding so uh, when when any part when any part of your mouth or skin is having a uh, structural changes and when you touch it it starts bleeding so it may be cancer so one of the hallmark of cancer cell is touch to bleed very easily it will bleed so if it is in, in intestine there will be bleeding from stools if it is in oral cavity or throat there will be bleeding of uh, there will be bleeding and there will be you will be vomiting of bleed or you there may be uh, bleeding you may get a spit of which is full of bleed etc if lungs cancer is there so when you cough <laughs> when you cough so there uh, there will be blood so there are if if anybody has got nose cancer so when he sneezes there will be a lot of bleeding there so in, it depends on the parts various parts of the body where it is so how, how to get it is that the person may have a uh, hay fever like symptoms for a very longer period he may have bleeding and he may lose start losing weight and of course uh, pain is there and heaviness is there and that part will get hard that part will get hard suppose if uh, this is thyroid gland and thyroid gland has turned into cancer then the there will be a irregular there will be a irregular growth or lump here which will be hard immovable it will be fixed it will not be easily movable and the surface will be rough the borders the borders will be rough and the surface will be rough as in tumors i i, I would like to remind you tumors are a normal multiplication of cells which is according to mother cell right and which is not wanted over by the body but it is according to normal cell and now dot they are not very harming in nature will be loose will be easily movable they will be having a regular surface they will be having a regular border so this will be this is the sign and symptoms or this is clinical features of tumor and the clinical features of cancer cell is that they will be irregular in shape they will be hard touch to bleed the borders will be hard and it will be fixed it will not be easily moving and the one thing is it will be very hard so any overgrowth in the body which is hard which is having a irregular surface you should rush to your doctor and show your doctor okay i am having this so that you get the, the proper treatment on the proper time and always try to 
do root clear uh, for that disease and also do uh, do dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us oh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us give us uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the healing or the cure from this disaster disease and also save god from us i do pray at that time that oh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us save me and all my friends you are listening to this audio and to others to my parents and their parents their brothers and sisters their whole family uh, safeguard their whole family and my family from this danger and uh, uh, save us god save us safeguard us safeguard each and every cell of, of our body to producing cancer cells and if anybody is having cancer cell allah make us heal by your qudrat and your miraculous power we might not be knowing that we are suffering from cancer cell but you always know us you always know each and every cell of the body you know you take care of that cell you make that cell multiply you give nutrition to that cell that cell really is depending on you and your qudrat so allah save god save god each and every cell of me and my friends listening to this audio and their family their whole family their children's wife husband mother and father brother and sisters uncle auntie etc etc save god all save god the whole family from this cancer cell and if you are suffering heal us and if and if you are not suffering from save god us from uh the evil evils of all kind the evils of air the evils of jinna the evils of shaitan the evil of atmosphere the evil of earth the evil of land the evil of living thing the evil of non living thing save god us from all the evils of all kind as as you know everything and you are having a whole control super control on everything save god us from amin 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 so my brothers and sisters this was the pathophysiology of cancer in uh, normal language uh, basically it is very hard to speak in normal language about science it's very easy to speak in a scientific language so basically do any brother have got any uh, question doubt about today's lecture about cancer you can you can you can ask about your doubts or clear off your doubts or uh, you may have doubt or you may you may you may not have understood anything so to which i could i can repeat it again so or make it more simpler by speaking in a more simple language uh, my question is is there any way uh, if we follow then uh, it will reduce the possibility to attack by cancer uh i mean uh, what are yeah. the yeah. what are yeah. the medic what are the food habit or yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. or the herb herbs uh, that is yeah. used uh, that is mentioned in tibbi nawabi if yes. we follow that uh, it will of course uh, of reduce course. the possibility to attack by of cancer course. of course of course a very good question a very useful question asked by anamul hasan brother uh, first of all i would like to tell you that one thing i forgot to explain about cancer is that oxidation uh, in simple language i will say the waste as if you as you are dri driving a car that car consumes petrol and engine oil to run to run itself to run the engine and as the engine runs function it makes the car to move right but as the uh, consumption of petrol and engine oil is done by the engine there is smoke coming out from that silencer you must have seen a smoke coming out from that silencer so that smoke is a waste or rather end product of that consumption of petrol and uh, uh, engine oil or I, in other words that is the waste or end product of that energy produced so when there is any production of energy there is waste also again in each and every cell of the body our each and every cell of the body works on energy and the sources of energy is glucose carbon carbon uh, yeah, carbohydrate and etc etc 
are the sources, the basic sources of that cell, and each and every cell functions, functions itself to keep it healthy or to it has got a function which is which has really been fixed by Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and it does a function kudrati. We don't know, but it functions. What makes that cell function? Nobody knows, but it. Can be it. It is only by the will of Allah or by the uh, miracle of Allah, by the uh, or by the kudrat of Allah that each and every cell works uh, by its own, and uh, it produces energy. As the energy is produced, there is a waste. These wastes are oxidation. So these oxidation stress, this oxidant, the oxidation has to be loosened out or it has to be thrown out of the body, right? And uh, as there is each and every cell of the body produces energy to function, right? So there may be a lot. You can assume there may be a lot of lot of oxidative stress or oxidative waste in the body, right? So this oxidative stress has to be uh, expelled out of the body, thrown out of the body. That's why it is mentioned in the Nabavi that you should eat light food. Uh, you should eat, drink enough of water. Eat the food. It should be simple. It should not be in a lot of combination. As lot of combination of food when we eat, it needs a lot of energy to get digest. And when there is excessive energy produced or used, so there will be more waste. As you run your car speedly, the expel of smokes will be in speed. If suppose we are driving a car in 120, 130, so there will be a lot of smoke coming out from that silencer because due to the uh, more consumption of uh, petrol more consumption of oxygen this engine oil so same way when there is excessive energy production energy uses in the body there will be more waste and if we eat light food if we eat only few items or one item a day one time at one time and eat in a less quantity so there will be less energy required uh, for digestion and as there will be less energy required there will be less there will be less uh, waste and there, as there will be less waste uh, we do get a less chances of getting cancers means when these uh, waste are not expelled out of the body fully or in a proper quantity or these, if this waste waste remains in the body for a longer period, so this can provoke cancer. This can turn into a cancer at various parts of the body, and we do. Uh, this is one of the cause of cancer. So taking a lot of vitamin C, vitamin E, folic acid are the best sources to remove these waste. Right. This oxidative stress or this oxidative waste is expelled out with the help of vitamin C, vitamin E, and folic acid. Now, basically, uh, fig, fig, anjeer, dried anjeer, or uh, wet anjeer, dates of any kind, these really have a lot of folic acid in it. A lot of folic acid and some amount of vitamin C is there in it. And on if you do if you eat dates twice or thrice a week, uh, early morning, uh, three days, five days or seven days. So, suppose one day you eat uh, two, two, three figs a day, three figs on Monday and Tuesday you eat seven dates and then on Wednesday. Suppose you have to make it by yourself. It is not mentioned in Tibbanabi like that. This fixing what I am saying. This is as per your convenience. Or just I'm trying to tell you, okay, you should not use anything in daily basis. So if sometimes you eat uh, dates, sometimes you eat fig, and sometimes you eat raisins, that is munaka or uh, kishmish. So these have got a lot of folic acid in it and a lot of vitamin C in it. They do have less vitamin E in it. So the best sources of vitamin E is zaitun, uh, oil of zaitun, that is extra virgin olive oil or virgin olive oil. It has a lot of tocopherols in it and vitamin E in it. So basically what I suggest to my patient is that uh, at night, take take one fig, one dry fig, take seven seeds of kalonji seed, that is black caraway or black seeds, uh, 
put that one anji or one fig in a small katori or a small uh, bowl small bowl put that one uh, anji in it one fig in it and uh, put seven uh, black seeds in it also put seven munakka that is raisin in it and put some olive oil uh, on it do, just do, just just for a dressing just for a coating stir or put some olive oil in it and keep it whole night means you have to do it at night keep it like that keep it uh, cover it with a, a small saucer or a small plate and keep it the whole night by this what will happen uh, the olives the uh, fig and the uh, kalonji seeds and the uh, raisins they will absorb the olive oil they will absorb, absorb the olive oil and the olive oil will be getting assimilated in that now when when in the morning you open up the uh, you uncover the that your bowl put take a teaspoon of honey put on it now mix that properly and then start eating it even you can add few dates one one or three dates in it and uh, start eating it early in the morning now one thing to worry is that olive oil is hot is warm uh, fig is warm uh, black seed is warm and uh, also honey is little bit warmer and if you add dates dates are also warm so you will think ke ye bahut garam ho jayega it will produce a lot of heat in the body yeah you are right but just to compact the heat you should drink a half glass of water after eating that basically you know uh, the habit of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's eating was that he nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam always tried always tried to neutralize a, his food before while eating for an example he used to eat watermelon with dates or dates with watermelon and if watermelons were not there so he used to eat with marshmallow or he should he would eat with cucumber so basically if you see cucumber and dates they both are opposite to each other if you see if you see uh, dates and watermelon they both are opposite to each other so nabi sallallahu taala wasallam used to mix two opposite quality food items together and they he should eat now basically here what happens you know uh there is a big question there may be people who will explain who will tell you okay we should not drink water after eating dry foods no it's not like that you should you should have a habit of drinking water after uh, eating dry foods because dry foods they are dry they do not have water in it and water is op- is exactly opposite to the dry fruit and uh, water remember the water is the best neutralizing thing in nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to, or nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam dates were take, used to be taken and they were soaked in water and nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to drink that uh, syrup that dates water that is called nabis and sometimes raisins were soaked in water and nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to drink that water means that water will turn into a syrup right uh, raisin syrup or sharbat and the nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to drink that so nabi for nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam this uh, fig or uh, dates or uh, this what i say uh, raisins we get a lesson from a, a learning of the nabi that these things or these dry fruits can be soaked in water and can be taken uh, you can do one more thing you can do one more thing if you like that you can soak those things into water means you can add water but adding water is not a good idea because you know uh because you are going to put olive oil in it and what why i say to put olive oil in that because olive oil contains a lot of tocopherols pherols and it contains a good amount of vitamin e so dates and raisins they have a good amount of folic acid and vitamin c so basically uh the answer to anam brother anam lasan is that uh taking a lot of vitamin c items vitamin e and folic acid etc this gives us a lot of benefit and this things helps the body to excrete the oxidative waste out of the body 
as the oxidative waste will be thrown out of the body properly the we get less chances of cancer one more uh, cause of cancer is free radical if you if you go on net if you go on net and if you uh, read about free radicals so you will come to know but for a simple thing uh, for a simple thing i will explain you that each and every atom you know what is atom right uh, the least the smallest particle of any uh, uh, solid matter is atom so each and every atom is controlled by four electrons one electron at above will be negative the opposite one will be positive and the below two means there are four there are two above electrons and two below electrons right so right side will if the right side is positive plus then the left side will be negative and uh, the left side lower wala will be negative and the lower right side will be positive so it is opposite ne negative and positive if any atom misses a electron because that ele that atom is controlled by four electron if any atom loses its atom so that uh, uh, atom will become a free radical and as it is free radical it will be moving freely in the body and it it may get accumulated in any cell and uh, then this can produce cancer but what makes that atom to lose its its electron nobody knows this may be due to the shait uh, this may be due to the uh, mischief, mischief of shaitan mischief of shaitan mischief of jinnat or it may be due to lot of guna a lot of luxish a lot of uh, wrong things we do if we are not very much we are not thankful to allah we are always uh, ungrateful to allah subhanahu wa taala or we are doing a lot of wrong things we are indulge in a lot of uh, guna or in appropriate things so this may also provoke to provoke ourselves to lose its electron and then a lot of free radicals are produced in the body these free free radicals are also a, a great cause of cancer again a good news is that this vitamin c vitamin e and folic acid this helps the body to throw the these free radicals out of the body from time to time and get rid of cancer diseases so all the fruits watermelon marshmallow oranges they are rich in vitamin c and folic acid they have, they they do have a little amount of vitamin e in it the best vitamin sources uh, in tebinabavi is olive oil olive oil is the uh, is rich in so many things and it has a very good source of vitamin e so cooking food in uh, with, uh, in olive oil if you can afford if and if anybody cannot afford if it is very costly or it is not easily available so you can drink it you can drink one teaspoon of olive oil mix it in honey and drink it and take some water on it just to neutralize the heat remember the reason why i am telling you to drink water is that it will neutralize the heat of that uh, uh olive oil and honey and it will increase the bulk and by the increase of but by the dilutation the digestion of olive oil and honey will be easy otherwise oils it is not that easy body if you drink oils directly so it is very hard for the body to digest so if you go if you go on my if you go on net and uh, if you go to net and uh, open my website and go to olive lesson in the olive lesson there is encyclopedia basic encyclopedia and basic pharmacology on olive and when you when you read pharmacology of olive oil then you will get amazed of what olive oil contains and what benefits olive oil give to the body the the best is what allah subhanahu wa taala has called uh, the tree of olive as barakat in his holy book he has given a place to all to olive trees in his book and he has mention it as a uh, mubarak shajara mubarakam uh, so he says ki this is a mubarak tree when allah subhanahu wa taala the manufacturer the creator of everything says ki this thing is mubarak so how mubarak and how pleasant it might be you can understand so anamul hasan brother i think you get your answer
you got your answer yes alhamdulillah yes i got it. also drinking honey uh, mix nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to uh, mix honey in water and drink nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to take some dates soak it in water and for, for some time and drink then drink drink it for example uh, in nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam times uh, on nabi on nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam dates were taken at night and they were over they, they were soaked at night and uh, nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam drink it in the morning or if that dates were soaked into day so nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to drink it evening means it should be leave leave for few hours soaked right that Uh, dates and water or dressings and it should be left for few hours uh, in that only that's why i tell you ke to leave olive or that uh, black seed in olive oil so that they get soaked and then the reason for asking to drink a half glass of water so that the bulk increases and the body get makes the body it the water will make the body to digest it easily and uh, you know it will th- that water will neutralize the heat of olive oil fig and uh, color uh, black seed and honey or if you add dates also it will neutralize the heat of that and water is the best best neutralizer uh brother Han- uh, hasan nam hasan so uh, i hope you question from anybody pardon Hello. Hello, brother Hassan. Yeah, yeah. Any any yes. question from anybody? Ha, yeah. Any question from anybody? Yes. Uh, I also uh, <laughs> requesting you to give a summary uh, of whole thing because today is our last class. Oh, within few minutes, uh, you can give a summary uh, so that we can remember this thing as a last point. no yesterday or tomorrow did you said yesterday is the last class i didn't understand yesterday na tomorrow na no today 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 is our last class right yeah 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 ha so basically see brothers the summary of uh, tibbin nabawi is is never eat full stomach never eat again and again many times in a day if you get a urge of hunger then you can eat suppose uh, we are in a habit of taking lunch thinking of dinner taking of breakfast at a fixed time so it's okay uh, tibbin nabi doesn't stops you from it but the best eating time is when you have a best hunger when you have a strong urge of eating right but today in today's time we are we are very busy we have got schedule of our work we have a schedule of eating we have schedule of sleeping so you can have your lunch you can have your dinner you, of course you can have your breakfast but try to make it lighter but but uh, try to eat the best nutritive food you can eat fish you can eat meat you can eat mutton uh, you can eat egg uh, you can eat anything what you want which is good nutritive also uh, try to eat eat fruits in uh, breakfast if you can or uh, or at the evening time b- between asar and maghrib if you want you can eat little vegetables little fruits as there is no fixed time mentioned in tibbin nabawi to eat uh, watermelon at this time to eat watermelon because at that time there was a scarcity of food people did not really very often get their food you know and uh, faka in nabi sallallahu alaihi family the faka was, was very common they used to eat some times a week they used to get food on monday then they used to get no food they, they, they didn't have food for many days three days five days or they had very less food or they had only dates to eat so it was that time the thing was very poor and they didn't had a lot of time to go and earn money because they need to give a lot of time in the work of deen they 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 had they, ha- they had to indulge themselves to teach a new muslims the islam the way of islam reciting namaz reciting quran etc so the whole day or the whole time was consumed in that and there was no time for them to go for to go out to earn money for themselves or their family that's why there was scarcity of food in 
their time especially in sahabas in many of the sahabas so basically so because of that they don't they didn't have any scheduled time to eat and they used to eat when the uh, when there there was a very strong urge of eating or they felt very strong hunger in, in themselves they used to eat they used to eat very light food they used to try to eat nutritive food nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam always try to give guidance to eat the best nutritive food but in lesser quantity again in modern science it modern science says eat less eat best so if you eat best you eat less then you will be free from many diseases and uh, that food the nutrition taken out from that less eaten food with best food will be much more better than what we eat in a large quantity the the food what we eat we eat in a large quantity is not digested properly by the body and as there is not no proper digestion there is a lot of waste and that waste has to be excreted out of our body if that waste is not able to excrete out of the body it if it if it gets starts accumulating in the body this can give uh, burn this can give born or birth to various diseases like cancer autoimmune disease uh, hypertension pancreatitis uh, liver disease heart disease uh, gastrointestinal disease ex- I- ibs irritable bowel syndrome crohn's disease ileitis etc 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 big list of diseases and uh, basically if any person get ill so uh, we can give medicated uh, boluses of herbs and in one corner of the mouth especially at the at the site where the disease is supposed if you are having a migraine in the left side in the right side so you can keep the bolus on the right side and if you are having pathology or disease on the right side so you can keep on the right side of the right corner of the mouth now you can uh, you can take some olive oil you can take some uh, kalonji seeds you can take some uh, this or honey in it and you can put some more things some herbs whatever is available or whatever is uh, good for that disease you can make a bolus of that herbal product and you can keep it you can take a uh, eatable edible pan leaf in it put that thing in the that leaf but and you can keep it in the corner of the mouth and chew it little little, little. and after some times when it, the uh, extract is taken out the but then you have to throw it out you can gargle it don't need to eating don't you really don't need to eat and uh take it into the uh, stomach if you do it it's okay but it is better if you uh, throw it out also you can take medicated oils you can take olive oil you can take few kalonji seeds you can uh, make it into powder you can take kalonji powder mix it in honey mix it in honey, some honey and olive oil and make it thin and then you can put it in your nose or you can coat your nose this is also a very good uh, therapy then hijama is mentioned in nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam's time in tibbi nabawi that hijama by hijama also uh, many kinds of waste which the body is not able to excrete is uh, thrown out of the body by uh, sucking out that uh, blood out by the therapy of hijama even by hijama lot of many types of cancers are inhibited means we get rid of many type of cancers cancers producing chemicals in the body are excreted out due in hijama which can give us cancer now uh, putting massaging our uh, body with olive oil once or twice a week also is a, a very good practice and applying olive oil on various parts of the body face etc is very good and applying olive applying olive oil or applying words or aloe vera on the face is again a very good thing which is mentioned in the binabavi we can apply uh, olive we can apply aloe vera gel in the eyes for eye disease we can apply uh, mushroom water in trachoma trachoma is a dangerous eye disease and it produces a lot of uh, blindness means the people a lot of people the majority of people get blind due to trachoma so it inhibits trachoma uh, cells in the eyes but uh, use it with a lot of precaution because all type of mushrooms are not edible and uh, many types of mushrooms or stuff as are toxic for uh, human use so you should always use or you should always know 
the thing or you can openly or you can very easily apply some some water in your eyes you can drink some some water uh for your pathologies with the niyat of shifa you can keep your head you can keep your hand on the pathology side suppose if anybody is having problem in the kidney so he can keep the hand at the kidneys or at the heart region he can keep his right palm and recite sura fatiha kullu laat kullu zafla kullu zabin nas ya salamo names of allah ya qawiyo they can recite on the names of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and these things loudly and then they can do dum and some water and then drink that water apply that water on heart or uh, put that water in your bathing water and take bath uh, this will inhibit the disease it will keep you safeguard from evil eye from black magic from mischief of jinnat from mischief of shaitan also recite uh, uh, few duas are mentioned in hadith bismillah ala nafsi wa ahli wa mali auzu bika kalimati la ta'ama min kulli shaitani wa ammati min kulli nafsi or auzu bika kalimati or many more diseases bismillah illa zila yuzur bi ismi shay'un fi la yadhi wa la fi as-samaa'i wa samil these beautiful duas are there it has to be recited the each three times each after fajr namaz and before maghrib or after after asar or before maghrib or after maghrib three three times to safeguard us from the evil of uh air the evil of atmosphere the evil of fire the evil of earth the evil of living thing the evil of non living thing the evil of all kind and also we should always raise our hands in front of allah subhanahu wa taala be grateful to him and do dua for each and everything whenever we are going out of our of our house that there are beautiful sunnat duas and along with that you can uh, recite some dua you can do some dua in your language wallah taala oh allah make help me to reach there easily make my this work easy make my this work very easy help me in doing this thing so you had been doing those things for years and years but always do dua this dua will make it and save make you easy and save guard you from nazar from evil eye and from evil of jinna things like that so this is uh, the basic summary of the binabavi nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam always uh, used to t- try to take bath it is sunnah to take bath on uh, friday or to take bath after janabat and uh, to take bath in various times or uh, do uh, try to be in wazu always whenever your wazu is uh, broken down so do a fresh wazu and try yourself to be in wazu Uh, always try to be in the members of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and always try to stop yourself from all evils of uh, pornography and uh, bad uh, films and bad videos, because these are all artificial. They do make it uh, artificially, and when we see it, we feel that it the act is really done. But no, uh, these are all artificially done, and it has a lot of uh, injurious effects on our psychology and injurious. Uh, effects on our body functions and makes us weak may changes our uh, psychology and then the think our thinking ways change our behavior is changed our behaviors towards our ladies or our uh, females changes and this is really very bad for our environment for our society and allah subhanahu wa taala never likes this and always do stinja properly after uh passing urine or after uh, uh, passing your stools and uh, keep yourself try to keep yourself clean do, do use miswak again and again any many times a day as per sunnat so that your mouth keep it is clean as a number of fish number of maximum amount of bacteria are present in our mouth and all the disease maximum amount of disease starts from the mouth so uh, basically Uh, try to keep your uh, mouth cavity or mouth clean always gargle properly after eating also gargle gargle uh, or do kulli after drinking meal or after eating any thing or uh, drink water in a sitting position this will give you relax the water will be going very slowly into the body and there will be slow bulging of stomach and this slow, slow bulging of stomach do not have a negative impact on the surrounding organs and the surrounding organs remains healthy as we drink water if as we have a habit of drinking water in a standing position in a speed way so there is sudden and immediate blowing of stomach and this immediate blowing blowing of stomach gives a negative impact on the surrounding organs like 
liver, spleen, uh, uh, lungs, heart, and intestine, and they may get diseased. They may get a disorder of their functions, etc. So these are the basic. Uh, do cut your nails every time. Keep yourself neat and clean, and uh, try to always wear neat and clean clothes. And uh, apply ethan sunnah. It is sunnah to apply ethan uh, as per your uh, affordability. Uh, and keep yourself clean and keep always yourself happy. Always think if anything bad happens to you, so you always remember Allah and and keep a faith. Okay, inshallah, this bad thing will uh, definitely and very soon turn into uh, a good thing, as Allah subhanahu wa taala says in the Quran and Pak in his. In the Mali Sayasra, in Alam Nashra Laka that there is always there is always a good time followed by a bad time, or always a difficulty is followed by easiness. So a soon a easiness will be there and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is always Allah who gives who makes things easy. And when you are ill, when you are ill, uh, do dua in a special way. Like, oh Allah, uh, you are the you are the great thing, you are the greatest. Uh, creator of this world, you make small things bigger and bigger things small. Oh Allah, make my this disease smaller and smaller, and heal me properly, or give me shifa min kulda from this disease and give me uh, the name of health, as uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala Himself likes the person who is healthy, because the person who is healthy can do ibadat more. In a more better way, in a more beautiful way, in a more sunnat way, which is liked by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So, O oh Allah, makes us makes us healthy enough so that we can do the ibad. We can do the ibad in the best way, as you like. We can do ibad in that way to our whole of the life. So, this uh, brother Anamul Hasan, this was the basic uh, summary of the Binabawi. I hope you must have appreciate. The thing, and uh, I do pray uh, to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala that oh Allah, uh, kabul the saying and the listening of the, your Prophet Muhammad's teaching and guidance of medical, and make us easy to understand, make us easy to memorize, make us make it easy for us to reach others, and make us easy to perform, and to remember, and make us to uh, learn it again and again, and again and again easily. And do practices and to become an example of your Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Brother Hanuman sir, uh, it's already eleven and my patient. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, yeah. I got it. And alhamdulillah, summary is fine. Mashallah, we understood. So, any more questions? Abula. Any more question, brother? Hello. Any more questions? Uh, I think no. Uh, nobody have any more question right now. Okay, brother Anamarsan, please send me the link of that recording, na? So that yeah, I will send, send you again. I will send. No problem. Hey, what happens? Me, me, what happens? You know, uh, I do get a lot of. Uh, Messages on WhatsApp, lot of messages from my patients, mm -hmm. reports, this and that. With the messages, maybe uh, 300, 400 messages a day, or maybe more than that. Every time I have to clean my memory, otherwise my phone gets hang up. So again, by mistake, sorry, again by mistake, I uh, deleted that by mistake. So send me once more. So this time I will inshallah save it. I need to clear my message uh, three to four times a day because to keep my memory safe. Otherwise